up. We just got to the first spot. Checking out some new spots today and we'll see what's down there. Hopefully we get some groupers from Red, Red Snapper. Oh yeah. V's on. He didn't even hit it. He just thumped it and ran. What do you guys think he got? Comment below before you see this. <laughs> V, what you think you got, bro? I think I got a red grouper. We are in 145 foot of water. It's a nice and a beautiful day. Looks like a red grouper. Keeper? I think so. Looks like yeah. a red grouper. Looks like a keeper. Oh, yeah. Nice one. Can you guys see that? Look at that. Oh, nice red. Keeper. He's peeing. Red grouper. I think he's keeper. Let's see. 20 inches. Well, let me turn this around. Look at that air bladder. This kills. No more. Oh, up oh, more. 20 and a half almost. Just made it. Alex on baby. Looks a little lame. Good color. Big old lane. Nice lane. Tan is on. Baby, red grouper, baby. This one got some good size to it. If you guys want to come fish with us, we do giving away. We're doing a giveaway for a free fishing trip on July 5th. To enter on Facebook, is on, the deadline is July 4th. Deadline is July 5th. What do you guys think I got? I think it's a red grouper, but well, no, it could be anything. Like we're drifting under. Oh shh! Give me. He's got a double. Alex is on too. Watch me get on too. Oh. Uh, I'm on though. I he's know. on. Pull. Yeah, go to the hand. Go, go, go. You good? Yeah, go, go. Go. You got a red grouper. It worked. <laughs> the temporary. Those big? Uh, see, come right there. It's keeper. Oh, you got me too. It's like a keeper. Damn. Short. Next one. <laughs> Alex on baby. Little later. <laughs> it's a vermilion. Nope. Vermilion. Yeah. 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 Vermilions. Nice size one though. Yeah, baby. We on. Hopefully it's an American red or a big nice red grouper. It's a bluegill. <laughs> nah, it might be a sheephead. 
Fish. The red grouper. Baby. Baby. Man. There you go. Look who's on. Oh yeah, baby. That's a nice one. Someone looks comfy. All day, baby. All day. If you ain't comfy, you ain't fishing. I gotta get off. I can't <laughs> <laughs> I gotta do this! It's hurting us. Better not be a shark, dude. It's hurting the whole boat. Here's a big one. Yeah. Come on, baby. Twenty-five pound leader. Oh yeah, I got 20 on too right now. That'd be a nice grouper. You got squid on? Yep. Yeah, that thing turned it good. Are you sure you're not on the bottom? <laughs> you see color? Now pull from the other side. Hey. Yeah, that was a nice one. Yeah, that was a nice one. Yeah, that was a nice one. The color. The grouper. ARS? It's a red grouper. Looks like it, right? Yeah, it looks like a grouper. The gag. I'm playing. You wish. Come over here. Line. That's a nice one. Nice Good job, Tan. Baby. Nice grouper, baby. 25 pound leader. Hey guys, welcome to Chop Suey Kitchen. We got this beautiful porgy that Tan caught earlier. We're gonna fillet it up and make some sashimi. With one side at least, because it's a lot. So. The way I like to do it, I always start with a angle cut down to the bone. Then I start from the back. And I like to start a cut and trace the back all the way down to, to the tail. Just keep that edge of that knife down up against the backbone. And then from there, I just kind of pick up the fillet and just kind of Follow it down the back. And you can see here, like a beautiful white that meat is. A lot of people don't know, porgy is a pretty good eating sashimi fish. Try it. Guarantee you like it. And right here, I just kind of cut through the pin bone and then go over the spine. And that's it. Voila. Look how smooth that is. It's sexy. I'm gonna put this on ice while I do the other side. And uh, we'll sh show you guys the next step once I get there. Look at that. Not too shabby, eh? See right through that thing. Alright. I like to have the back end of the tail here. Start to cut. And then that way I have something to grip on eventually. Some people will cut a little slot here we can stick your finger inside so you can pull on it but you don't need it for this fish here and uh just kind of pull the skin and let the knife do its thing keep it down a little little angle okay that's it
It's okay. Now we gotta debone it. We gotta take the pin bone out. So porgy's got a, for some reason their pin bone goes pretty far back compared to most fish. It seems like it ends right here. Just come on each side of it and cut it down all the way. Just pull that right out. It's all bones in there. I mean, you can cook it up and eat around the bones, but not me. All right, we're doing one sashimi. You have to make sure you clean that cutting board that you just use. Make sure you get all the slime and stuff off. That way the fish isn't too fishy after you cut it up for sashimi. And you don't want to rinse your fish until you're about to eat it. So I like to rinse my RO water. So we can get any of that chlorine taste and stuff in there. Always make sure your fish is dry. I'm trying here, guys. <laughs> Let's get I'm just gonna section this off. Oh, and by the way, all I'm using is a cheap Dexter knife. I got Bubble Blade. They're nice too, but I seem to go to the Dexter more for some reason. Seems to be a little better. I guess because it's more flexible. Not no sushi chef, but from uh, what Tan tells me, he used to do sushi. You gotta cut it at an angle, keep it thin. And in one motion. But look how white that is. I can tell you that it's white tuna, Escalar, you never know. All right, we'll show you guys what the final plate looks like when we get there. What's up, guys? This is the porgy that Chef Vid made. It looks really good. So we're going to try and do a test try, see what it tastes like. I mean, I already know what it tastes like, but for people who never ate this before, dip it with some uh, soy sauce and wasabi. This thing is good. For a fish that a lot, a lot of people talk about, y'all need to try this at home. This is really good sashimi. The texture of it is really good. It's not fishy. It's the best for, for a fish that's not talked about. Uh, I would like to thank for everyone for watching, liking, and subscribing to our channel. Much love to, to you guys. And um, thank you for everything. Uh, we got something coming up soon for you guys. Stay tuned for that. I can't tell you guys. It won't be a secret if I tell you guys. And don't forget, we, uh, the giveaway is still... It's going to end midnight on July 5th. And we're going to draw later that day on July 5th at night. And we're going to post the winners for the free giveaway. For the free fishing trip with the Chop Suey Boys. And um, we'll see you guys later. Peace.